afternoon everyone. So there's actually gonna be two dogs in this video and the first thing I'm gonna do is just strip them down. Um, I am going to go with a seven first and we're gonna strip both of these guys down together. So he's a sweet boy. So I'm gonna start with this one. I was told she's a little more, a little more cantankerous compared to the other one. And these guys are getting a complete, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay, see? Getting a complete shave down. They are matted in spots pretty bad. And so we just wanna do what's best for them. It's okay. You see it's matted. It's okay. And baby girl, you can't lay down. Okay, I'll move this and then you can lay down. Okay, now you can lay down. Let's put the head back. So what I'm using is a hair vac and as I am clipping, it's okay. It is sucking that hair back into a canister. And I've never done these dogs before, so I'm really watching her. She is not particularly liking what I'm doing. And so I'm just gonna make sure that she's not going to bite. You can see in here, this is all matted. So yawning is a sign she does not like what I am doing, but she is not actively trying to bite, so I'm not going to muzzle her. Can you stand up? It's okay, come here. So I am stripping the coat off before the bath because when you bathe and dry mats, it tightens them even more. It's like felting. If you know what felting is or, you know, when you work with felt, when you wash it, it gets tighter. And that is the same concept as mats. So I'm going to take a break on her and do some on him because she is not sure about what's going on. And this guy has had dental disease and is missing most of his teeth but he has been taken care of you know by a vet so he's in good shape pretty tight in here it's okay you're okay bud mr barley Okay. I know. Weird thing, huh? Are we gonna be friends by the end, girl? Are we gonna be friends by the end? I think we will be. It's okay, bud. It's okay. I'm gonna get all this off. Okay. So I'm working quickly just so, I mean, the faster we can get through this, the faster they can get back inside to their surroundings that they're used to and the less stress it is on the dogs. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, bud. Okay. So now that that's off, I'm just gonna slightly turn him so I can work back here. And it won't take me any time at all to get the rest of this stripped off. And see how much smaller he is under all that. So this is pretty matted back in here.
Oh boy. So the hair vac keeps the blade cool. So I'm not using a hot blade at any point during the groom. It keeps it cool. There's no risk of clipper burn. maybe having like a weekend event where I don't do like the whole bath and everything but I just strip the coat off of these mounted dogs um, just quickly strip the coat down and then they could bathe you know possibly bathe the dog by themselves um, just to help more people you know get that matted coat off Oh boy. I'm gonna lift him up gently and I'm just gonna go down the belly and get all that cleared up in this private area. And then I'm just gonna gently turn him a little bit right here. It's okay, bud. I'm just gonna gently turn him and we're just gonna strip this side off. I know, sweet girl, it's okay. We're going to get you cleaned up, too. This is matted in there. All that's matted in there. All this is matted. And again, I want to make it very clear. These guys are being shaved because that is what is best for them at this time not only are they matted in you know most over all over their body but it is what is going to be best for them i have to consider what is going to be best for them you know when when are they going to be groomed next and if it's going to be more than six to eight weeks it, the cut needs to be short because that is when the matting happens is when you go longer than well, even usually four to six weeks. And the Clippervax helps keep all of this mess contained. So even if these dogs had fleas on them, it would suck up those fleas and prevent them from being transmitted to the next dog. So now I'm not going to shave his whole head because he doesn't need it. We'll keep some on his head, but I am just gonna clean up around his neck a little more. And by his ear. Okay, so I think the rest of this I will be able to clean up and brush out. And so I'm going to set him down on the ground and finish her. And then we'll bathe both of them. Are you going to be nice to me? Hmm? Are you going to be nice to me? Good girl. She's quite a bit more matted than he was, but that's okay. We're gonna, it's okay. It's pretty big mat right there. Right here. Yeah, it's okay. So I don't know this girl. I've never groomed her before and she's acting nervous. She's not acting aggressive in any way. She's just nervous. Um, so to protect myself, because I do not require shot records, I'm gonna use one size bigger than I actually need so she can pant and breathe and do all that. 
um, I'm gonna muzzle her just to protect myself and it's not because she's being aggressive she's not being a bad girl um, I just want to be able to get this off as quickly as I can without having to worry about that so she she can breathe and pant and sit so you can see she's panting right now so she's perfectly fine um, she may just not like the muzzle but that's understandable it's something covering so but I'm gonna get all this it's pretty pretty tight matting in here I may have to go down on a 10 to a 10 it's okay Hi, girlfriend. It's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go down to a 10 on her. Her hair is a lot softer, so it's um, not as easy to cut. And her coat's also longer. So this is a 10. And you can see how much easier that goes through that now. It's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna she was wanting to lay down, but now she's not. So I'm gonna hook her back up to a safe distance so she's not going to fall off the table. Hey, girlfriend. What are you doing? Hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Very tight matting in here. Sometimes got to go backwards to get some of this tight matting off on the feet. Okay, you gotta stand up. Stand up. Okay. I know. I gotta get back here though. Very, very careful back here. And yes, all of my equipment is disinfected in between every each and every family. Um, it's okay. It's okay. You're okay. It's okay, bud. I know, girlfriend. It's okay. You're doing good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's okay. I gotta stay on the table, okay? Turn that up just a little bit. It's okay.
Okay. No. Nope. You're okay. Okay, no, this is not high enough. Put this up a little bit more. It's okay to let them move around, but sometimes it's too much movement and it makes the groom take longer because they're, they're moving all around. So a lot of the times, you know, the, the people I'm grooming for feel they need to do a lot of explaining and I just tell them, hey, I don't need an explanation. Just let me have the dog and I'll go get them cleaned up and um, you know, I don't, I don't need an explanation. A lot of the times they feel like they need to explain why the dog is in that situation and I, I don't, I don't need one. Hey, no, it's okay. You're okay. So there is a mole there um, and that's the thing with these mats we can't see <laughs> what do you smell what do you smell mister we can't see underneath these mats and sometimes because we have to get under those mats to remove them we end up accidentally nicking a mole or something like it I know, sweet girl. I know, those feet are... Okay. It's okay. I know. It's okay. She's just highly anxious. Um, it's okay. Which is understandable. They're in a new place. I'm a new person. There's probably, you know, the, they're not used to the clipper vac. So we have to take all that into account. But the longer I sit here and drag this out, the more anxious and the more stressed out that she's going to get. Instead of if I just hurry up and get this done and then we can get her in the bath. I know, girlfriend. She keeps wanting to spin on me. And I just want to get this leg finished. I know, I know, it's okay. I was told that she could be a little difficult, um, but they had seen my videos and, and knew that I could handle it. And so um, I can. Uh, off. Nope. It's okay. Good girl.
I'm gonna feel so much better. I promise. Again, this blade is very, very cool. Um, I would prove it and put it on my face, but that's just unhygienic. But I can put it right here on my forearm and it is, you know, completely cool. There's no, no red, you know, whatsoever. So. Girlfriend, I just got to get this last leg. There we go. I know, as you you don't like it. I understand. It's okay. I'm gonna get this matting off in here. Okay. And then there's a little bit of matting in here. Yep, go fall off. Okay. So now, I'm gonna see if she'll let me. I gotta get around the neck. girl okay um i am going to let this soak it's it's um Oh my gosh, it's so tight. I just don't want to cut her down there. Okay, there we go. That'll work. We'll get the rest off after. So this right here is why we always, always, always do sanitary, even on um, dogs that we don't do haircut on because this gets up in there and can cause a urinary tract infection. It's going to turn off. Okay, so I'm going to get both of them in the bath. And safety is always the number one concern. So I'm going to put this loop on both of them and just where I have two fingers. It's loose enough where they can breathe, but they can't slip out of it. And I'm going to put her on this side and I'm going to grab him. Come here, sweet boy. And I'm gonna go over here. He's gonna go right here. So he's gonna go down here. And again, just two fingers. So he cannot slip out. Um, I am gonna muzzle her for this next part because she is probably not going to like it. So we're just going to apply some dog ear powder. Do not use cornstarch, anything else like that, baby powder. Um, you only want to use ear powder that is specifically made for dogs. Everything I am using in today's video is linked down below. So that is because he is pulling on that. I'm just going to take my 
hemostats. These are hemostats. They're not scissors, they're blunt tip. They, you can see those grooves that is to help grip. They're not scissors. I'm not going in here and cutting any hair. You can see all of this hair in here that needs to be plucked out. And the reason that I'm going to pluck it out is because the inner ear cannot breathe. Um, and it can actually cause or be a cause, contribute to ear infections ear infections. So I'm very quickly just going to take all this, and I know, and just pull all that out. And so that is that. So for the next year, I'm just going to do the same thing. And, and it's okay. I'm going to separate, what I'm doing is separating the hair that needs to be plucked out um, away from the hair that needs to stay. That's not going to come out. Does not need to come out. You're okay, sweet boy. Okay, so all that needs to come out. And I'm just gonna get by the base of it. And we're gonna do real, really quick. And there's another one. So for him, he doesn't have as much. Um, and I can just go in here and same thing, just going to separate that hair and do the same thing. I know, I'm so sorry, bud. Same thing and the other ear. Now there are vets or groomers out there that won't do this and will say, oh, they need to go to the vet. Um, you have to remember that, I'm sorry, bud. You have to remember that I am doing free grooms and there a lot of the, I think a lot of times that is forgotten that I am doing free grooms. And the reason that these grooms are free is because usually, um, you know, they cannot afford to have the grooms done in shop. They, they just can't afford it. And so that is why I offer. And so they, they can't afford to take the dog to the vet to have the ears done. Um, and it's different in each state, but here in Oklahoma or here in the Oklahoma City metro area, if you ask a vet, they're going to say that's a groomer's job. They're going to send, the vet is going to send them to a groomer to have that done. So I'm going to turn her just so he will stop pulling. Okay, so now the next step is we're just going to add some water. This is warm water that has been heating the entire time the van has been running. And I'm going to add three to four gallons of water and we're going to do one um, like pre-wash with them. And I'm going to be using my, this is the odor eliminator shampoo. I'm just going to get my cup and each pump is a quarter ounce. So I'm going to be using about an ounce, which technically is too much for this bathing system. It's gonna be really sudsy, but these guys are pretty dirty. And so we're gonna just go ahead and use what we need to use to get them clean. I will also be hand scrubbing them after I get them pre-washed. So we are cool enough in here now turn that off and this is just the bathing beauty this recycles the water but if you know about sh um, how soap or shampoo and dirt um, works you will know that it is not being re it's not going to stick back on the dog it's it's bound um, with the soap particles i don't want to get too scientific because it'll be over some people's heads but um and so it's not going to be put back on the dog yes it's running over the dog again but it's just like a washer when you do a washer you don't 
wash and then wash again so you wash wash it washes 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 one time and then it does one rinse and you're done this is the same concept so, um, same thing with your dishwasher your dishwasher rinse washes one time and then it rinses and it's done so this does not hurt this is a very soft jet it's um, like hydrotherapy it doesn't hurt the dog it's very soft it's not painful. This is just the first bath, just to get the majority of that dirt off. And that is it. That's all this first bath, bath is for. And it helps to get that, do that dirt started soaking. It helps to start breaking down the dirt and oils. Definitely want to soak the private areas and get them nice and clean. And I'm going to just Make sure not to get this in the eyes, but it will do like a first dirt. Get every, all that soaking. Same on him. Not gonna get it in the eyes, just gonna get that started soaking. It's okay. And I am going to do the anal glands on this one. Anal glands on her because we're going to do another regular bath. All right, so we're going to drain and turn the, the bathing beauty off. So while that is draining, I'm gonna open these vents because it is getting very humid in here. And when you are doing mobile grooming, you do not want your humidity to be high because it will take forever for the dog or dogs to dry. I'm just going to, and I'm gonna turn the heat on also. So it's gonna be a little bit louder, but I can't let them get super chilled. So I'm gonna take some face wash and this is, will be another first wash for them. And just going to scrub. Their little face, faces. This is a tear-free blueberry facial shampoo. And again, this is the first of that. I want this to be wet. Okay, bud, come here. I just want this to be wet so it'll spread a little bit better. There we go. So that'll sit on there just for a minute. And I'm just gonna. Just because I'm shaving the body, um, usually the head is the last place to mat. So most of the time I'm able to keep some hair on the head and that's what we're going to do today i just want that to be so i'm going to let this soak in here a little bit um, i just don't want to go in with their with the eye comb and um, just kind of tear that out because that hurts so i'm going to let that sit uh, just for a couple minutes i'm going to get that wet just a little bit more and let that soak with that warm water and I will be back in a minute to get that out with the combs. So I like to plan ahead um, when I'm waiting. So I'm gonna take my happy hoodies and just have them ready to go after I rinse them out. Um, he's having some reverse sneezing is what it, that is called. He's okay. I'm gonna get some of these bubbles down. 
So tomorrow morning, it won't be tomorrow for you guys watching, it'll be out later. Um, but tomorrow morning I am going to the Edmond Animal Shelter to groom two doodles that will be needing a home. They will go up for adoption. And I'm gonna go groom them. They're severely matted and someone posted in a local groomers group asking if anybody wanted to go do them or could go do them. I said, I'll go do them. Okay, so now that they've been sitting, I'm gonna, are you okay, bud? You keep pulling. Yeah, you okay? Yeah. There you go. It's because he's pushing against that. So I'm gonna take my eye comb and I'm just going to gently get all of that eye gunk out. It's okay. Ch -ch -ch. Just gonna rinse that down. And do his. It doesn't have to be 100%, just loosened up enough where the it'll come out with the water. Okay. And then I'm gonna rinse their head, their heads, without getting it in the nose. It's okay. that out and then again just gonna rinse it's okay it's okay okay now this time I'm gonna get them all wet and I'm gonna use my regular shampoo I'm gonna use as much as I need. I'm just gonna take this out. And we're just gonna do a regular hands-on bath now. What do you think about all this, huh? Wash every single part of the body. I'm gonna get around the neck. We're gonna do the feet really well. I'll turn her. We're going to get the back legs and the back feet really well. So mole here. Just want to not, I'm not going to go in and like scratch it so it starts bleeding, but just want to get that off. Wash the private area as well let that sit soap does have to sit for a little bit for it to work appropriately um, you can't just put it on and rinse it off that's not giving enough time to bind and pick up so to speak that um, dirt and oil Again, private areas. And the last thing is we're gonna scrub that head again with some tear-free shampoo. So I'm gonna brush his probably brush out both of their faces. There's some like grime in here from just it being food and stuff, food and dirt. Um, I'm just gonna take this and just gently kind of 
work at that. It's okay, bud. Sometimes you got to brush that in and break up that dirt, especially on those ears. If you have like cocker spaniels that get really just, um, their ears just get covered in earwax. Um, sometimes you'll have to go in, like down here you can see it's kind of yellowish and just very, very gently get that soap in there. See, he likes that. Yeah, it feels good, doesn't it, bud? All right, so same with her. Just very gently. Because not only is that pulling out anything that may be stuck, it's separating those hairs and ensuring that that soap um, gets down in there a little bit more. And just gently, you know, you don't want to rake um, that slicker brush across the ear because it will damage it, hurt them. Okay, now final rinse and then we can start drying. I'm going to rinse all this off, make sure it's nice and clean. Sorry, girlfriend. You can see all of that grime that I got out. There's a lot in there. So I'm just gonna rinse this down. And rinse down the dogs. You wanna make sure that you get all the soap out. So if you're still feeling the coat and it feels slimy, even if you don't have bubbles anymore, um, you, you still need to keep rinsing because that means that there's soap still in the coat. If we don't rinse out the coat all the way, it will cause skin irritation and can even cause hot spots. Um, I'm gonna put some conditioner on, especially on her head, but probably both of them. You want to get rinse everywhere, especially the bottom of the feet, the armpits, the belly. Sometimes, you know, people say, oh, you're, you're manhandling them. Um, no, the, these small dogs are used to being picked up. Um, just because I'm gently picking them up and, and moving them is not manhandling them. Um, it's just moving them so I can reach them safely and get get it done so i will dry both of them at the same time they will both have happy hoodies on if you're new here or new to grooming um, happy hoodies just go on the head and they protect the dog's hearing and also reduce the amount of noise, therefore reducing the anxiety that some dogs have with the dryer. Make sure all that's rinsed out. Okay.
So the water coming out of the nozzle is fresh water. Um, it is never reused. Uh, it, the water draining right now is going to a gray water tank and I empty that out at the end of the day. Or sometimes I empty it while I'm grooming. Because while I'm grooming, I'm parked either in the client's driveway or in the street. And here in Oklahoma, if you're on residential land, uh, you can drain up to 250 gallons of gray water a day. And so um, I'm good to go there because it's only a 40 gallon gray water tank. So you always want to make sure the head is up so you're not getting water in the nose. Don't want a lot of conditioner left in. It will make the head look very oily and un unclean and just not finished. Okay, so I'm just gonna rinse this down under there a little bit. Rinse this down. Get my towel. Check my battery. Okay. So I'm just gonna take a towel and just very gently going to squeeze with his, his one little tooth. One little teethers. Gonna dry, dry them off. And then I will slide a towel underneath before I start drying. So when I'm drying, um, anything that comes off. You're gonna feel so much better. I really like doing two dogs at once. It just doesn't take near as long. Um, you can get them done quite a bit faster. So, dry this off. And this is gonna go back in. And what? What you think? So now is the drying time. Had to change out my battery, make sure we had enough. I'm gonna put my ear protection on. And I'm gonna put their ear protection on. And we're just going to make sure that the ear is laying flat against their, basically what would be their cheek if it was compared to human anatomy. This girl's not sure about this, but that's okay. And same thing with her. I'm just gonna take her ear. This also helps absorb some of that water that may be on there. It kind of lessens the drying time. So. Here. So, girlfriend over there did not want her head to be dried. And boyfriend here wanted to bark the whole time <laughs> so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna finish him first so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put her on the ground and she can walk around because he's getting stressed out so i'm gonna finish him first I'll put this up this just keeps the dogs on this side of the table so we're not breaking our back trying to get to them My dogs are up front if you hear them. And so, um, he did not like his head to be done, but looks much better. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use a seven. So places are gonna be a little bit shorter than some probably, but we're gonna get him done. Okay. Off. 
dog is honking the horn. Brush this up. It's pretty easy once you're after once you're done with the bath and after all that matting has been Cut off it's pretty easy to come back in here and get the rest especially because when there's hair left it's been cleaned and now it's fluffed up um, so it's a lot easier to cut okay, so I'm just gonna gently pick him up and turn him See how easy that that hair on the feet fluffed up and um, can actually be cut now. Lift up. Typically don't use a 10 or a 15 anymore on sanitaries. Just because I don't find it necessary with the clipper vac now. So now I'm just going to clean up this. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is take a 30 blade and yeah. I know bud, I gotta screw back though. Now that his haircut is done, so he's not pulling, I'm going to put one leg through and around his neck. So when he pulls, it's not pulling on his trachea. It's matted in here.
Okay, I'm gonna grab a mask. I have my hand on him. And then I'm going to Probably best if I clip these first. Very long dew claw. So I know some people watching are, don't like the Dremel, don't want to watch the Dremel, that's fine. You can skip, but I want to talk about the reason why I use the Dremel. And it is because, one, it smooths down the rough edge that these nail, the nail clippers leave. Um, I do have a lot of elderly clients that I groom for, and if I don't cut that down, then they end up, you know, getting scrapes where it's cutting their skin open and it's causing problems. The other reason is it gets closer to the quick, therefore it recedes the quick faster and better so you don't have super long nails because when you have really long nails, it can lead to deformed feet, deformed paws. You can see why I wear a mask. What do you think? You're next. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go back with the 30 blade and clean them up a little bit better.
Okay. So I'm gonna change to a 10 and clean all this up pretty well in here. Um, I'm actually going to cut this really short because he has no teeth and that hair is just going to get sucked in his mouth and cause problems. You can see how nasty that is where that one tooth is, so that's why we need to do that. Okay, all that hair off. So that way it's not getting stuck in his mouth. I want him clean. And he is a Bashan, but because of his teeth situation, I want that hair out of there. So we're not having to worry about that hair. All right, so I'm gonna put a 30 blade on. And I'm gonna do pretty long. We're gonna do a C as a seven eight. Make everything the same length. I'm gonna take my comb. I'm just gonna. It looks like everything was cut really short. Um, these ears were definitely shaved last time because of the way they have grown out. So I'm just going to. make them look a little bit better. I want them rounded. I don't want them to be at a sharp point. Don't want to keep any of this in here. Want the ear to be able to breathe. All of that cut short. Because you can't even tell. And then now we're gonna turn. Ouch. And remember, I have free choice to do what I want with these free grooms. And that doesn't mean I'm going to shave them all the way down because I'm not going to unless they absolutely have to be. But with when it comes to the head and the ears and stuff, I have to think about what is going to be best for the dog. Is cutting these ears short going to be better for the dog? Um, I have to think about when is the next time this dog is gonna be groomed? Are they brushed on a regular basis? Is it gonna mat in between? you know, this groom and the next groom. I have to can take all of that into consideration and consider all that um, to figure out what 
I'm gonna be doing on the dog. These scissors were just sharpened. I don't know what is going on with them. <sighs> kind of just want to, oh my gosh. Scissors are not working right. I don't want to like shave all that, but I also don't want that to look funny. So I'm just trying to blend it the best I can. Sorry, bud. Just don't want you moving your head. Okay, so now that that's trimmed, this is not, this is, I don't want anything sticking out. It is getting warm in here. I'm gonna take my thinning shears and blend all this. I'm just. I can safely get a little bit closer. Just want to blend this part into the ears without taking too much off. So I'm not trying to make him look like a poodle, but he's kind of going to look like a poodle. He's not a poodle, but have to do what's best for the dog. And what's best for him is to be short around that mouth. And if you just leave short around here, it's going to look funny. Back here, pull these ears down, the head, nope, no, 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 relax.
pretty busy street, I guess. His ears sit, Whopper jaw. One sits back a little bit further than the other. You're cute now. Okay, I'm just going to clean up this eye area a little bit better and then I will move on with the girl. all done one squirt and I'm gonna find him a better cute that's a big one stay stay Is this a small one yeah, it's a small one Now we're gonna finish you, girlfriend. And I have to text my next client and tell them that I'm running behind. I don't know why I scheduled them so close. But. Sweet boy. Okay. So I'm gonna get her done. And this is a tin since that's that's what I had to use on the body. Just doing around her neck so I can go ahead and put the loop on her. Whoa, buddy, you okay? I'm just gonna turn her. We're gonna do the same thing we did on him. Clean up this eye area. Buddy. I am going to turn the AC on. It is toasty. It is hot. There's not much breeze coming in. girl
Good girl, you're being so good now. Yeah, you, I told you we were going to be best friends by the end, didn't I? Yeah. You see her up there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe I spoke too soon. Take this short pin slicker brush. I'm just going to nope, no, 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 no. We're not going over there, girlfriend. Thank you. It's okay. Oh, man. Okay, switch this to a 30 blade and I'm gonna do the nails real quick. 
You're okay, bud. Fran.
You can see where that Dremel got me earlier on my knuckle. It got me good. Girlfriend, I gotta brush it out. It's okay. Just holding so it's not pulling on the skin. There's so many of them in there. Girlfriend. Sit. No. There's tiny, tiny little. No, girlfriend. Okay. I know that's short, but again, I have to think about what is going to be best for the dog. And I'm not necessarily going for a top knot here. I just need it short. No. You're okay, bud. I'm over here. I'm over here. Quite a bit off of here. No. I was just trying to trim it to where it looks okay. No, no. It's 
So once I get this trimmed okay, that's my dog jumping on the floor. Hi Gus. Hi bud. Hi bud. I'm gonna take my thinning shears. And I'm just going to use them. And what this is going to do, it's going to blend that edge so it doesn't look so rough. Especially on this part right here. much better okay now this dog has a very flat head again it's going to blend everything and I did have to come up pretty high ah Pretty high. Just gonna, gonna blend that, that, and then no, no, no. What is that? So again, brush this out. Okay, I should be turned. You're okay. Thankfully, my next dog is literally right down the street because I'm supposed to be there in seven minutes. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did over there and just all this extra long fluff Nope.
Okay. Now, all that's left is to just... No. No. And I'm not trying to be mean, but one sudden move and she could lose an eye. I am not trying to be mean. Um, I just, it's very, very important that she holds still. Shh, no. Thank you. Okay. Her hair is odd. And blend it some. She's got a really flat head. That's why it looks so odd. And I didn't want her hair to be this short on top, um, but it's because her head is so flat that when I cut it, normally it wouldn't be that short. I mean, it didn't take that much off of him. Um, but for some reason, it's been right here really well. No, girlfriend. Oh my gosh, I cannot get this head even. Hi Gus, what you doing bud? This is one of my dogs. Can be a little nuts sometimes. But, he's still puppy, puppy-ish. Just turned a year old, so. didn't want that that short and I'll just tell them that um, but sometimes stuff like that happens and you just got to fess up to your mistakes and let them know hey I didn't mean to go this short but sometimes stuff happens and um, blades cut shorter than you think they're going to and so you just kind of got to do what you can and apologize and move on So, I'm going to clean up everything. And... Oops. Bandana. Stay, stay. This side. Some donuts. How about that? You want some donuts? You sweet girl.
and she's done um really no okay it's okay I, I'm mad about it but it's okay it's done it is what it is so they are both so cute and I'll put them both up here so you can see them together and don't forget to check out the before and after picture in a minute we were all done see aren't we